Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. It's 9.49, we're headed over to Tate's Kids where we are taking our Goat 101 class. Um, Tate Kids is a local goat farm and I follow them on Facebook and we actually were interested in buying one of their goats back when we were looking for goats but they wouldn't have one for like a couple months and they could put us on a waiting list but y'all know I'm, I'm impatient and I just had to have my goats but I think everything worked out like it should because I love our goats. Do you love our goats? Mm -hmm. Do you love Flynn? Yeah. Even though he's derpy? Yeah. He's really... That's what I love about him. Yeah. I love... Even though he's like... He is very... Like he won't... He don't want to be touched. Which is understandable. Some goats just don't want to be touched and... But we do... You know, he will come eat out of your hands. And he likes to play chase. He wants you to chase... At least I think he wants you to chase him. Either that or he's like, Oh, this woman chasing me. But it's so cute because you'll chase him. And then if you stop, he'll stop and he'll look around the, the hay bale at you or whatever. Like, come on. Are you ready? Come on. Let's go. Kind of like a little dog. Like just waiting. But anyway, they had posted... I think it was like a week and a half ago that they were going to do a goats 101 class um, at their farm and it's like $25 a farm or a family so of course I have lots and lots of questions I've you know I've learned a lot of stuff off the internet but still you know like I said before not all people do things the same way this guy's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera but that's his problem not mine <laughs> but um yeah, so you can learn different stuff off the internet and just because one person does something one way doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. And so I'm just going to learn more of my hands-on and I really want to get into, um, I just want to really talk to the vet that's going to be there. I'm pretty sure that was a vampire that just checked me out. You think so? Yeah. I'd check you out if I was a vampire. No, dude has some, dude was had some crazy eyebrows and glasses on he's like thank you and I'm like oh. What oh. Do you really did want? you say you're welcome no, I... <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> his name is Dot <laughs> she said his name is <laughs> hi what sweet what you say about Bud I mean the trimming the Oh, I didn't ask her because I don't know about what you... Mommy, 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 mommy. But she did say about how how to do, you know. I like this structure. I want a structure like that. Look at the babies. How many goats do they have? So that was fun. It was informative. We learned some stuff. We know of that now. I didn't learn nothing. I babysit it and played on a playground. I could not hear. The sun was in my eyes. My feet hurt from standing. I bought some soap. <laughs> yeah, I bought a bunch of soap. <laughs> a bunch of goat soap. I'm going to give Aunt, I was going to say Angela. Yeah, Angela needed to come see me. I'm going to give Jessica and Danny when they come see me, which I haven't disclosed on my YouTube channel yet, but surprise! <laughs> Next, a week from tomorrow, Jessica and Danny are going to come to my house. Wait, it's a yes for Jessica? Uh, it's a, I think so, for Jessica. She's, I don't know. I think so. It's a, it's a definite yes for Danny, though. So. <clears throat> so, anyway, they're at the head. The woman makes so oh we should have a white on And I bought I bought five. They were three dollars each. I bought five and then she gave me one for free. She was like, here, take this home, and put it by your kitchen sink. It's like um coffee and cream. Coffee and cream. It has a little bit of a smell to it, but it don't. She's like, it's not, you know, it's not like a smelly smell, so it's more of like it helps take the scent off your, off your hands. She's like, if you have um, tacos or fish. She said fish, but you know, you eat a lot of fish. Um, onions. Dog. You know how we eat dog. Dog eat dog. Fajitas. And I bought. I 
the jobs. This is a cucumber one. What is this? Let's totally pick this one out. Which is because she collects soap. But you can't see nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm so white. Collect it on my body. She's gonna collect it all over her body. She ain't never cucumber wash mellow it off. with cucumber puri. Puri. Per, what's it called? Per. Potpourri. No, P U R E. Puri. Puree. Puree. There you go. Yeah, I, it was registered in my brain. Yeah, you'd think it'd be puree, puree. instead of puree. puree. And this one is my toasted God. marshmallows. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Let me turn on the turn so She wants to play in that water. Oh no. It was yeah. a damn wind. You want to eat washing your hands with a wipe? Oh my gosh, this, this smells so good. And she wraps them in tool. I should say, girl, you want, you want me to say some tool? She said she's gonna um, have a soap baking class soon. Sounds like yes. This one is cranberry salsa. It's, cranberry salsa? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. That and the. Um, Ooh, I put that on an enchilada. Yeah, that's all. Lavender apple oak. That one smells very. Very oaky. <laughs> Lavender apple oak it smells very oaky, don't it? Um, Heavy on like the some kind of like woodsy kind of smell. This was my favorite. The velvet bow. This smells like old people at church. <laughs> <laughs> this one's my favorite. I don't know, I'm trying to be negative. But it just, maybe it just reminds me, maybe it smells like my grandpa's armpits or aftershave. Maybe that's what it smells <laughs> Maybe it's like the wood pew mixed with whatever they were wearing. I don't know. Here, smell. This is my favorite, ultimate favorite one. Am I supposed to guess the flavor? Or? No, you smell it. It's called Velvet Bow. <laughs> oh my gosh. It kind of has a butthole smell to it. Hey, if it does not, then I really like the smell of butthole. My goodness. <laughs> kind of got a little spice to it. It smells good, doesn't it? Mom, well, like the smell of butthole. Does it not smell <laughs> delicious? <laughs> well, Dad, I don't know. It's got a little. Sniffs butthole. You got a little bit of a uh, spice, you got a little bit of, got a little bit of tank sweat in there, buddy. No, it smells good. Don't it? No. It does too. <laughs> after you wash your hands, that's gonna be good. That's gonna smell real good. I don't want my hands smell like booty. But we went and we got some minerals for the goats, which I want to know. I gotta pick up more baking soda. So the man told us to put baking soda in their water, and that said no she's it, like it, uh, it diffuses the bomb yeah <laughs> but whenever you take an alka-seltzer does it not have baking soda i don't know and you drink it with water in it and it still settles an upset stomach i have no idea so you just give them baking soda and put it in a container and they eat it if they need it same thing with the minerals. You just put it out there. Minerals. Same thing with the minerals. You put it out there and they eat it if they need it. And so like, yeah, I'm the, um, also the, I have no idea. The goat feed that I'm feeding them, I'm probably doing, you know, cause I just give them to them in the morning and at night, just a little bit. It's not like I'm filling up the cup. Their main source of food, which is any kind of hay, grass hay, you can have alfalfa hay, you can have whatever kind of hay, and yeah, we, we all cool, we all cool, yo. What am I eating? <laughs> there's a Zaxby's, there's a Culver's, there's... Oh, I can eat Culver's. Mm. No? You don't want Culver's? No, they have Pepsi, not Coke. Oh, and at the goat thing, they had Pepsi and water. <laughs> I'm, a Pepsi, a I'm a Pepsi drinker. He's a Coke drinker. I like Pepsi because it's sweet. I like Pepsi. It's too sweet. <laughs> I like tea. And like. Ooh, 
Lord, it is smoky. I got a few chickens in the chicken tractor. I actually let them out to free range a little bit, but Otis got a little rambunctious, so I put them out, as you can see. So I think I'm gonna put them in with the goats so they can play. We got some, look. Those ones are sun gold tomatoes. And guys, Otis has got my, this was my celery that was growing. He's got it too many times. So, bought fencing to go around that flower bed. My husband's down here trying to set something up for the goats. And he's burning the eucalyptus stump. Get it, baby. Oh. Can I come? I put this here. There's little spikes hanging out the end of this. He's going to try to figure out how to hook it up. Monarch? That's not a monarch. It looks like one. It looks like a baby one. Is that fun? <laughs> You're fine. Ain't no better room. <laughs> Holy cart. Brother. Mom. Get him that stick right there. See that stick? Little. Give him the stick to chew on. When he wants to chew on you, you put something else in his mouth. Oh. Stepped on his paw. He'll be all right. He knows you didn't mean it. What happened? She stepped on his paw. Otis. Otis. Don't let him bite her tail, he just did. You're supposed to be their protector. He's a predator. You think you'll get hurt on that? I don't know. Get him out, uh, Flinny. No, they make cheese. He had this, no. this guy, I mean, they had tons of goats. And, uh, but the, the, the woman was a vet. She had graduated, I guess, from Clemson, and she had a place on Holly Springs Road, yeah. going back in towards them. And this was almost behind, like, you going, you want to go down you going there? Holly Springs Road over there to... Very quiet. doing baby they keep watching me because they think I have treats so they're looking for me to hold out my hand Flynn. 
You guys want some minerals? I put their minerals in that thing for now until I can find something. Don't need no minerals? Don't need no minerals? You guys good? Are you good? You don't need no minerals? Hmm? My babies. My babies. My babies. So we got the thing almost done. This is a eucalyptus tree and it died and then it started having all kinds of like poison oak in it and then it started, it had a wisteria in it too, but you know. And my husband just wants it gone. So he's burning that and I honestly don't know what we'll put eventually here, but no, no, Odie. These, y'all, look. Here's a shoe. Y'all, look. There's a shoe over there. My child will not keep shoes on her feet. She's right now. She just left with Uncle Brian and her dad and Journey, and she don't have no shoes on. But in random vlogs, you look around when I'm vlogging, and you will see some. Random shoes in random places. Hey guys, so it is now 8.30, 9 actually. And we're going to grill some peaches. My husband just picked these, so that one's pretty soft. I'm gonna, this one's leaking already. Journey probably dropped it. So I'm gonna wash these up and I'm going to grill them. Um, you cut them in half, you pit them, and you put them on the grill with a little bit of olive oil on top and that's all you do you can there's a bunch of different recipes that i have saw some of them you can brush them with some molasses and butter and maple syrup afterwards some you can put like a cinnamon sugar and butter like on top oh my gosh the sunset is so beautiful i gotta get out there <laughs> i'll show it to you guys in a minute mm -hmm. 